Hi, I'm going to show you how in a matter of minutes you can automate your Instagram posting in the browser using Axiom.ai, a no-code browser automation tool. I'm Alex Barlow, co-founder of Axiom. Let's dive in. So before I start and I show you the automation working or the bots working, I'm just going to talk you through what we're going to do in this video. First of all, like I mentioned, I'm going to show you the magic. You're going to see the bot working itself. Then I'm going to take you through the template that's available on our store. You can just click it, install it in your version of Axiom and then configure it. Whilst I do that, I'm going to walk you through the bot step by step. That will give you enough knowledge to learn how to build the bots yourself. And that means you could build bots to automate virtually any posting to social media on in the browser. For example, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, um, Pinterest. The world is your oyster. You can just get automating all your Instagram posts. What's more, you can drive that from a, a Google Sheet. I'm going to show you how I use a Google Sheet to manage my posting and Axiom to do the posting. Cool. Let's get going. I'm going to show you the magic. So I've got Instagram open on my screen and Axiom, first of all, when I run this bot, it'll share the session because I'm already logged in. I won't need to log in, although you could build login steps into your automation. So I've got the bot here. And before I take you through how to set it up, this template comes pre-built and it's free to use. You just, or it's free to try, it's free to take the template. Of course, there's a charge for a runtime. I'll be completely straight up. You can see that, that in our pricing page. Um, you do get free, two free hours of runtime. Anyway, let's get on with this. So this is the, the bot. I'll just take you through how to configure it in a moment, how to build it. But first of all, I'm just gonna run the bot so you can see it in action. So I'm gonna click run, and we're gonna run this in the cloud. So the cloud, our cloud runner is going to open up. Well, it was going to open up, but we seem to, it's been, it's asking for the desktop app to be installed. There we go. Now, I'm just going to run it on the desktop. And first of all, this is the bot doing everything. That's pretty damn cool. It just closed that box. Now the bot's going to click on create new post. See, my hands are here. This is the bot. This is really cool. This is why I love Axiom. I always say I never get tired of watching these bots. I just don't. That's the image being uploaded. It's not a very interesting image. It's the fact of Axiom doing something. I just grabbed it out of the, the closest sort of test file I had. In a second, it's going to click on a couple of the other buttons. It's going to enter the text. It's going to put some hashtags, click next. But we're not going to um, click on the share button yet because we don't want to do that. Now, if we just give it another second, here we go. Let's just change the crop. Now we're going to go past the filters. You could add steps to do the filters. Now we write in the text. Next, the bot would click share. We've got the button in there, it's just disabled because I don't actually want to do a post right now. But that's the bot in action. Now I'm just gonna close our desktop runner. I'm gonna stop the bot. Okay, the bot is stopped. Now let me take you through how to set this template up and take, take you through how you can build this yourself. So first of all, like I mentioned earlier, we're reading all the data from a Google Sheet. And I've got two tabs in the sheet, one called post and one called posted. So in the post tab in the sheet, in one column, I've got the links to the files that I want to upload. In another column, we've got the text and then we've got the, the text and the tags. Okay. In the next tab, we're going to use posted. So once we're going to use it to call, uh, create a tracker, essentially. So once a post has been sent, we just write that post's um, information straight into the posted tab. You don't have to have that feature. It's just a nice to have. Now, so we've got the first read step. We've linked to the sheet. We've selected the post tab. That's got the, um, like I mentioned, it's got the, the information we want to pass through Axiom into Instagram. 
Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to limit the bot to reading one row of the sheet at a time. So I do first cell A1 and then I read to, from column A to column C row one. And that just grabs one row of data because we're going to, we only want to do one post at a time, although we can loop and the loop is done further down. I will get to that shortly. Okay, next up we have the interact step. So this will obviously be installed if you're using the template and the steps will already be set up. If you want to build it from scratch, you start from blank, you add Google Sheet, you add an interact step and then meet the, the sub steps. Then you start to add the sub steps in the interact. The sub steps are all the, the cool steps that do the browser automation part. Now we have the go to page where that's literally the URL that tells the bot what page to open up. So that's already in there, Instagram. Then if we just go to Instagram, then we just got to replicate the actions that we do as a human. So we're clicking on the create post button. Well, actually the first, I, I correct myself, the first click was what we saw on the video. Um, so when we run the bot, there's a little pop-up we have to close. And that button just clicks the not now. And it's an optional click, by the way. So if if that pop-up doesn't open for you, it ignores. There isn't a straight click, so that's fine. Okay, next, the click element. And that's the clicking on the, the now, the create post. I'm just going to add new post as a label to that. Then once we get to there, we're using our file upload step. So that's slightly different from the, the click button here. So the click buttons are really easy to set up. Let me just demonstrate that so you know. You'd add the click button, then you would select the button you want to click, press complete, and then now Axiom knows which button to click. If, if you ever have an issue trying to click a button, we do have an option for custom selectors. Okay, then we have an upload file step. First of all, you need to do very similarly to the click button, you need to open up the pop-up and then select the file field button. So that triggers the file upload. Now here, what I've done is I've got the file path to where I keep the images on my computer. And then I'm passing the file name from the sheet. Now you can, you can do that two ways. You could put the entire path into the sheet or you could just do the file name, that's up to you. And that's the file field upload set. Now what Axiom does is loop through each row of the sheet. So it's not gonna try and load all the files at once. It's just going to do one at a time. And then if you're gonna do two posts, it will go on to the next post. Okay, let's continue. We add a weight here, so there's a bit of a weight. You may want to vary this. This weight is for when uploading a video, it's like, quite a few seconds for a file this big, we could reduce it just to a few seconds. That just allows time for the file to be uploaded. There's nothing we can do to speed that up. It's dependent on your internet connection. And um, it just waits till it's uploaded to Instagram and then Instagram acknowledges it, etc. We just have to wait a little bit till that's done. But it's really, it's not a hassle because it's the bot waiting, right? You're not waiting, you're doing something else. You're doing another task. So that's, I mean, that's why Axiom is cool. Then we just have a series of click elements where we're selecting different options and you literally walk yourself through the whole process. Let me just find a file here that's big enough for some description. There we go. And so it clicks you through the crop process and it takes you through the next. And you literally keep setting them up just as I've shown you. You can add additional clicks if you want to, um, you know, do in different types of, um, filters, etc. You can just build that bot out. So that that's the cool thing about these templates. They're not fixed. You can just copy them yourself and then you can adapt them, personalize it to your own use. I mean, that's one of the amazing things about Axiom and building bots. You can really tailor the automations. They're not rigid. Okay. So anyway, once that's all done and you've got the bot uploading to how you want, we've also got the enter text step. So I'll just take you through how that works. I'm just going to click next. And so we get to the um, where we've got a text box. Very similar to the click steps, you select where you want the text to be entered in the input field. 
and then you can pass the values straight. Let me just show you how, straight from the Google Sheet. And you select the correct columns that you want. You can put one or more tokens in. And press save, etc. And so that's how you pass your text into a text field. And that's the skill, like I mentioned, you can um, automate you can pretty much use the basics of this bot to automate any social media posting with a bit of adaptation. And what you've just seen there is learning how to pass text into a text field. So that opens up a big world of automation. You can literally do any type of form. Anyway, I won't I get too carried away and too excited about this, this form of automation. Now, I mentioned we don't click the share button. We've got the click step in there, but it's disabled. So I do that because I like to test my bots first run them a few times is it working how i want it yes it is enable share button then my bot is live then i'm going to use it but for now and keep the powder dry and keep it disabled finally we have a wait here why do we have a wait there that's just to allow we can probably take a zero off that that is just to allow instagram to to know that um Basically, the front end to talk to the back end to, to acknowledge the post has been done and the signal to be all the post requests to be sent back and the, and the data, the, the back end updated, blah, blah, blah. So you just have to have a little wait there because Axiom could close down if it doesn't wait or it could go to another page and it, you know, it breaks the, the data being transferred. Okay, finally last few steps here we've got a write data step i mentioned at the, the start that we have this other tab posted and we've got the sheet linked we go to the sheet name posted and what we do is we link the sheet data here so we just write that that post information we we'll toggle that on as well i'm not starting sales sorry this needs to be on add to existing data and when that bot's finished its post we just write it into here so we can keep track of what was done Okay, now just back to the last few steps. Almost done, and then you can get on with building your own bots and delete row. So why do we have a delete row? Well, because as I mentioned earlier, you may want to, you may not want to loop this bot. If you don't want to loop this bot, you can just disable the jump step. But we have the delete row because basically this bot reads what one row of data at a time, as I showed up here when we configured the sheet. We go through one row at a time. So once the bot's done its posting, it's written to that sheet, we delete that row. So when the bot runs again, it reads a fresh row. As simple as that. Now, if you did want to um, jump your bot, remember that the bot will go through the process once before it gets to the jump set. So if you've got the jump set set to one, it's going to do two posts. So. If you just want to run the bot once, you're only going to sort of you're going to you can schedule it to you know run once a day or whatever, whatever you're going to do. Then you could just disable this step or even remove it if you don't want the jump. But if you're going to do a couple of posts at a time, you can basically use a jump step to do that. Cool. So that's the bot, how it works. You can literally by using these plus buttons, you can build these bots yourself from scratch. That's all done without any code. That's pretty cool. Thank you.